Kenyans are very hard workers. I can tell you very many stories of how Kenyans were proved to be much harder workers than folks from other African countries. But now, with the second lockdown upon us, one of the first things that changes immediately is that it is now going to be a matter of working smarter, yeah, not working harder. In other words, you need to stop yeah, and figure out a way of working smarter. Even as you continue working hard, that's what I mean. Folks, the writing is now clearly on the wall. It is a matter of survival. And those who survive will be those who figure out a way of working smarter. Let me give you a few practical examples. You have a stall somewhere in CBD Nairobi, and you have been very successful in the past selling to fashion-conscious Nairobi ladies. And you have always prided yourself in being very well stocked. Anybody can come in and they will have quite a variety to choose from. Now, going forward, you have a problem. Yeah, because this business of stocking up, flying to Dubai, and coming back with a container, you are full of goods. That may no longer be viable, yeah, for various reasons, including the fact that it may now take you much longer yeah, to sell that stock. Yeah, your money will be tied up. Not to mention the fact that your client base, naturally, is going to shrink dramatically. Yeah, people don't have money. One viable solution to this is find the customers first and then source yeah, the products those customers need. People want nice-looking jackets yeah, that are warm for the upcoming cold season in Kenya. Find a sizable number of customers who are ready to buy immediately and then get the products. Of course, you might now want to start looking for a local supplier, yeah, wholesalers, people who import in large volumes. The advantage you have is that these large importers live on the same planet as you do. Yeah, they're facing the same problems, lack of sales. And so chances are that you'll be able to negotiate for very good prices yeah, and terms. This valuable tip, yeah, which in a nutshell is changing the order in which you do things, which you normally do things, can apply to virtually any business. And it can also be applied to many different aspects of your business. For example, the Toyota company, yes, the manufacturers of vehicles that are so popular in Kenya, have become world famous for their concept of just on time manufacturing. What that means is that this company never has a stock of raw materials. Never ever. What happens is that they have an ordering system where the supplies arrive just on time, moments before they go into a new vehicle. This, of course, has a significant impact yeah, on the profitability of the business because they avoid completely the high cost of keeping a huge stock of raw materials yeah, normally already paid for. Instead, they have a station where the raw material arrives and there's a probability that they will have sold that vehicle they use the raw material on even before they pay their raw material supplier. Magic! Yeah, not very easy to organize. But all the hard work you'll put into organizing a system yeah, that changes the order of things will pay back for you big time yeah, in these very hard times. I want to address another very huge problem yeah, that virtually everybody will face yeah, going forward. And indeed, we're already facing it. And this is what we're used to, yeah, face-to-face -face meeting with your prospects. With the measures increasingly being put into place 
to control the spread of the pandemic, this will become increasingly difficult to achieve. So what do you do? You find a way to reach your customers without meeting them. Start a YouTube channel using your smartphone. Now I'm about to give you the biggest secret you'll ever come across on how to sell successfully with the videos on YouTube or another forum. Like Facebook for instance. The last thing you want to do, the absolute last thing you want to do, is to do a video displaying your products and telling people that they're high quality at the best prices. That's boring. And nobody wants to be sold to when they're on social media. Even if they need that particular product you're offering. So you need to approach this thing very differently. Imagine that you've gone to a party. You've been invited to a party. And you do what many business people do. They go to parties and social gatherings to develop the network of prospects and clients and customers. Now, imagine a situation where you're at this social gathering and then somebody walks up to you whom you have never met before. And shortly after you greet each other and introduce each other, they start telling you about the good shoes they're selling. What will your reaction be? You will find an excuse to walk away as quickly as possible. Yeah, even if you need shoes, the shoes they're selling. Yeah. Seriously? How can you come to a party to sell shoes? That will be a reaction. Now here's the secret. Yeah, you take a different approach. For instance, you're selling bras. Yeah, for ladies. And so you start off telling this story about this lady who got an infection, a terrible skin rash, yeah, from bras they bought somewhere. And it took months to heal. Over a year, this poor lady still had these rashes. Now that's an interesting story. It is captivating. It is the kind of story people love to hear at a social gathering. And somewhere in your story, yeah, you might want to mention, oh, by the way, I know this story because I sell bras. And this poor lady, yeah, with this terrible skin rash, came to me. And I disinfect all my bras with a special formula. Yeah, and therefore she has never had a similar problem again. And don't be in a hurry to sell. All you're doing initially is networking. Yeah. Later, you will have an offer for these potential clients or customers. Every time you're on social media, YouTube or Facebook, always remember this key rule. People don't like to be sold to at a social gathering. And social media is a social gathering where you need to entertain yeah, using stories linked to your business, what you do. Now, older members to this channel will remember that I started talking about doing business in hard times. In October, September, October 2019. And at that time, I was telling people to prepare for the very hard times that are coming. Yeah, of course, I didn't know that they were going to be this difficult. But that is how long ago I started thinking about doing business, making money in a different way. Yeah, in an environment that has changed. Yeah, where people don't have money. And I have a set of videos that has taken me a very long time to put together. They give you many valuable tips, like the ones I've given you on this video, on how you can sell using online video, how you can sell on YouTube, etc., etc. Now, details of how you can get those videos and automatically become a member of my TBT club. Tomorrow's businesses today yeah, are on your screen right now. Yeah, all the details are there on how you can get hold of these very valuable, game-changing videos. 
The details are repeated in the description area below on this video on YouTube. I highly recommend that you go for it. The times we live in, here are times when it is extremely important that you think differently. And this covers every area of your life. To survive, you will need to think differently about how you live. Think very differently about how you make money. Because the truth is, the old ways are no longer viable. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, please remember to give me a like. And please subscribe. Until next time, this is Chris Komekucha.